Okay, we have been told that Baba Ramdev may join us from Lucknow, so we have a live link with Lucknow ready in case Baba Ramdev joins. But you're not going to delay the discussion and the debate this evening. Ranjana Kumari, Director of Center for Social Research, appalled by what he has said. Now, Ved Pratap Bedek is, is a philosopher and guide for many years to Baba Ramdev. He comes in as a supporter. Uh, to Baba Ramdev. Dr. Ved Pratap Vedic, thank you for joining me. On the News R debate tonight, on the first time, representing the Congress for the first time on the News R debate is Mukesh Nayak, national spokesman of the Congress. He joins us from our studios in Bhopal. Professor Kancha Ilaya, Dalit activist and author, joins us from Hyderabad. Rahul Ishwar, social activist, for some surprising reason, chooses to be on the side of Baba Ramdev today. My first question goes to Professor Kancha Ilaya. Has Baba Ramdev insulted the entire Dalit community or not, especially its women, with this kind of a remark? No, Aruna, what Baba Ramdev has spoken is absolute perversion. And more than that, what is coming out as a larger picture in this whole thing is the entire San Parivar Hindutva cultural team is really speaking a mind of social destruction. Now, here is a man who is trying to train people in terms of yoga, but says Rahul Gandhi, who is not a married person like him, goes to Dalit houses to have, you know, honeymoon with them. What does that mean? That means he is doing mean? something with their women. What does it mean? What's it it what, means what that he is going to have sex, he is going to have sex with Dalit women. That's what it meant when he is talking about honeymoon in Dalit houses. What is he talking about? And if this man is also unmarried, he's going to a lot of places, what is he doing? Secondly, this man says Dalit women are available for anybody and Rahul Gandhi is going there. There is Giriraj Kishore who says Muslims have to go to Pakistan. There is, uh, there is another Vishwa Hindu Parishat leader, Muslims should not buy houses. You know, so this, you are this saying whole gang no, you, you, are, you are saying, Indian, are, you, are you saying, Bahujan, are you, so your argument is that Baba I, Ramdev's I'm comments saying, reflects saying, the upper, up, upper caste, upper caste bias of the Sangh Parivar. You are making that comment, no, you, you, are, it, you feel it, it so today. The, it, is the, it is the Hindutva, it is the Hindutva mindset against women, against decent human life, against, you know, Dalits, against minorities. And there, there needs to be, I think Congress must realize, there needs to be a cultural war against these people. These people are up to destroy this country in terms of absolute anti-women culture, anti-Dalit culture, anti-productive culture. These people don't produce food, but eat all the food of this country and talk nonsense. What is the this, interpretation? You know, first of all, first of all Professor Kancha Elaya, let me see today if there can be any yes. attempt to justify this perverted remark of Baba Ramdev. Is there any? Will you will you make an attempt? You're a supporter of his. You've been a there philosopher be, and guide. Do you have any justification for what he said? All over today. Well, first of all, I would say that Baba Ramdev is a sannyasi. Sannyasi should be very cautious while speaking. First, secondly, the word he has used, honeymoon. He has used it figuratively. Oh, oh, please. Honeymooning means moj maja karna, anand karna, picnic karna. I understand English. Yeah. Really? This is the simple meaning. But really? you, you, can have, no, no, no. you can have your own interpretation. No, because you, the, you don't agree because, with this interpretation. Because the word Why does he say... No, please. Now, Ranjana Kumar, you agree with that? That he's using it figuratively? Well, I think uh, if he's a or, or do you think do, Yes. Or do you agree with what Professor Kanchaila has said? That he's well, basically making... He's, he's, he, he, he's trying to make some sexually perverse remarks. No, no. Visa, 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 Dalit and Dalit women. You know, it's it's uh, really strange that uh, a person who is supposed to be a saint has a perverted mind to think about a young unmarried man going to a uh, house of Dalit women or Dalit to have a honeymoon. And what is the uh, connotation that he's trying to drive at that he's single, he's not married, so he goes to have fun with Dalit women. And this is really insulting the Dalit women of this country, trying to take Dalit women as this kind of perverted, you know, we are really appalled by the way he spe he's spoken about, uh, uh, you know, whatever may be his uh, opinion, political opinion, but he has no right to inter uh, insult Dalit women of India. Oh, but why is this the BJP totally quiet? Well, 
I think where, this where is, is the BJP it, today? Absolutely. Why is the BJP scared to send its representatives on the news hour debate today on this very important subject? They I are mean, the political beneficiaries of your canvassing. You know, in this where is the BJP today? In this vote Mr. bank Mr. politics, I think in vote bank politics and vote at the moment, these people are one after the other coming up with this such insulting, no, look, look, insulting remarks to women. No, they look, are look have the, absolutely look, 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 no sense of any kind look, of uh, propriety in the whole in, debate. In, in fact, I think and, you are you are you are you are wrong today with respect Prof, uh, uh, Dr. Ved Pratap Vedic, if you are trying to justify no, no, I'm what, not, what, what I'm he not has said. No, you are trying to justify you it see, by saying I'm not, not, I'm not justifying, Arnav. What I'm trying to say that you can drag the meaning to any extent. No, which extent? I will read out what he says. Yeah. He says one way. He says, this boy, uh, what are you shaking your head for, Rahul Ishwar? He says this boy does not want to marry a desi girl. Because Arnabji. But he goes to the homes of Dalits to enjoy his honeymoon, to enjoy picnics. Right? And he goes on to say, Rahul Ishwar and Mukesh Nayak, I want you to come in as well. If he decided to marry a Dalit girl, then that girl would benefit from his wealth. In other words, first you make a comment saying Dalit, Dalit women, you know, you make sexually perverse remarks on them and you, and you, and you insinuate that Rahul Gandhi. Uh, you know, has illegitimate relationships. No, no, I don't. One minute, please. Yeah. With, 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 uh, and that's the reason why he goes to Dalit homes to enjoy picnics and honeymoons. And then you go on to say that that girl would benefit from his wealth. That p person would have benefited and he too would have become the prime minister. In other words, you say, Rahul Ishwar, ki Mukesh Nayak actually aapko lana chaunga iswa. Iska to eki tatpariya ho sakta hai. One interpretation can be, and we'll go into Hindi and English, eki tatpariya ho sakta hai ki wo keh rahe ki agar Dalit Orat se shadi kare to uska political benefit hoga. Yani ki isse samjha jata hai ki Baba Ramdev, jo Bharatiya Janata Party ke liye sab jagah support karte rehte, unka point of view Dalit ke towards Dalit sirf ek political use and throw ka attitude hai. Dalitto ke taraf aur ek perverted tarike se wo Dalit aur Dalit orto ke taraf dekhte hai. To Mukesh na ek BJP to nahi hai, magar aap kya kena chahenge? अरुणाव मैं ये कहना चाहूँगा कि रामदेव बाबा को राहुल गांधी के विवाह की चिंता नहीं होना चाहिए बल्कि उन्हें मोदी जी से ये प्रश्न करना चाहिए कि विवाह के बाद उन्होंने अपनी पत्नी के प्रति अपने कर्तव्य का पालन क्यों नहीं किया किसके हाल पर अपनी पत्नी को छोड़ दिया कहाँ रह रही हैं उनकी पत्नी कि एक 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 युवा नेता जब किसी दलित के घर पर रुकता है ये जानने के लिए कि उनकी संस्कृति क्या है उनकी परंपरा क्या है उनकी रीति रिवाज क्या है उनका दुख क्या है वो कैसे रह रहे हैं हमें भविष्य में उनके प्रति क्या चिंता करना है क्या काम करना है उनके प्रति ये जानने के लिए जब राहुल गांधी एक दलित के घर पर जाते हैं तो उनको ये हनीमून कहते हैं लेकिन जिसने केवल हनीमून के लिए अपनी पत्नी को हर अपने घर पे बुलाया और मुकेश नायक जी किसी ने कुछ कहा उसका मतलब नहीं है कि आप भी कुछ कहेंगे मैं ये बात सीधी तरह से कहना चाहता हूं कि न्यूज आर पर न्यूज आर पर हमारा एक रूल है कि कोई भी इस तरह का अननेसेसरी बिलो द बेल्ट पर्सनल अटैक मैं खुद से टॉलरेट नहीं करता हूं तो बाबा रामदेव ने जो मैं, कहा मैं, उस पर डिस्कशन कीजिए मगर मगर उसका कारण नहीं है उसका मतलब नहीं है कि आप मोदी को ड्रैग इन करके उस पर और पर्सनल रिमार्क्स करेंगे ऐसा मत कीजिए ऐसा मैं नहीं होने दूंगा राहुल ईश्वर राहुल ईश्वर मगर दूसरी बात है राहुल ईश्वर राहुल ईश्वर वाई यू डिफेंडिंग बाबा रामदेव बिकॉज द बीजेपी कैन डिफेंड हिम देव सेंट यू Arnab ji, explanations are not justification. Explanations are not justification. Baba Ramdev was using that particular word, which should be, should be all careful while we articulate in this election time. I, I, I agree with that point. But Baba Ramdev was using that word metaphorically. He was pointing out to the shadow of populism that many leaders are doing in this nation. Just going there, talking to them. He was pointing out a very serious... What is metaphorical about it? And regarding all our... So it's, 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 regarding all our... It's, it's, you know, that's what Baba Ramdev was trying to say metaphorically. No, no, it is, that it is never all Andy, the Dalit, Dalit women are it, it is available is for men when they Dalit. go to their he houses. This is what they do with them. This is what he meant. No, 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 no. This Please is don't metaphor that you're talking about. 
No, what kind of a metaphor see, is this? Kunti, you have used anything else? See, this only in, you know, in, inflicting injury to the insult. I'm now we're talking about it as a metaphor. That's what you're trying to say. What's I think Baba Ramdev has a problem. And I you know who Rahul Gandhi will marry is none of Baba Ramdev's business. Exactly. Whosoever he may be in love with, he will marry. What exactly. is his problem? And, and Why fact, is he trying to, I, you know? And in fact, I have said I have this, I have said this absolutely repeatedly and I consistently say to make that point again. You know, the whole issue whether Narendra Modi is married or not married, whether he had a child marriage or not, that is nobody's political business. Exactly. Similarly, whether Rahul Gandhi chooses to stay single or marry exactly. anyone of any nationality or caste is entirely his business. My question today is, first of all, I request, I'm telling Mukesh Naik and others, do not make personal comments on news. Art. I don't think we have a right to say it. And I must also say this, once a Kanchaila, I'm making one more point. Now, with respect, now if Narendra Modi has a child marriage, with respect to that lady also, Mukesh Nai, please be careful of what you say. Let's not make crass observations towards anyone. And if you, by responding to Baba Ramdev, will now make crass observations or make observations about any other woman without her permission or without sensitivity to her feelings, I will stop you. You must not do that. We are coming to the point of figurative. Ved Patap Vedic argues, Rahul Ishwar argues, exactly. this is figurative. What is figurative? Kanchai Laya raises his hand. Kanchai Laya. No, no, no. no uh, but I right, Saruna, we must look at when Congress we, we and CPM look at, were going we, to we, we, the we, UPA won. They we, said we, the honeymoon we, is over. Political honeymoon. That doesn't mean what any... Political, no, this is not... Talk, he's not talking about political honeymoon. He's not talking about political honeymoon. I think you have... You are trying to unnecessarily create a kind of, no, you know, no, all no. these kind exactly. of the the arguments. Let me put the one definition. He has insulted Dalit women of India. One minute, one minute. He, he one has minute. insulted Ar Ar them Ar by Ar making this kind Ar of a Kanchai news, Laya is responding news lowly now. comment. Kanchaila is responding. I'd like to hear from Professor no, uh, Saved uh, Pratap Vedic uh, after that. Kanchaila. No, I think we... See, we we must look at the holistic sexual culture of Hindutva group that is working around BJP. In Karnataka, most of these people, you know, of, uh, around the, the, the Valentine Day, all over the country, they, they attack girls. In Karnataka Assembly, the BJP leaders were watching porn and they got suspended. And one of the MLS raped his friend's wife and got lost, he, he lost his ministership. Here is Baba Ramdev, whether he was a Yadav or These whether he is something issues. else, I don't care. But they don't have a culture of respecting women, they don't have a culture of respecting minorities, they don't have a culture of respecting production, they don't have culture of respecting Dalits, Adivasis, backward See, classes, they, are, they speak like rapists. This is not, this is not, India can tolerate in the name of culture. Why is the BJP quiet? They are, they are trying why to... Why is the BJP quiet today? Why is the BJP, why is the BJP, BJP, why is why is BJP, BJP silent? Just because the BJP benefits... Why is the BJP silent? Why is the BJP silent? Just because the BJP benefits... Why is the political yoga of Baba Ramdev? They'll remain quiet on it? Let me tell you. Why Sushma Swaraj is silent? Why Arun Jatli is silent? Why Narendra Modi is silent in such non on such nonsense in this country at the time of election? Whether it is Ra Rahul Gandhi or you know Priyanka Gandhi, we are not worried. We are not bothered who it is. But what kind of language, what kind of culture they are showing on this country's you know map, map of the nation? They are humiliating the country across the world. They must stop this cultural cultural nonsense. You know, walk, talking like that. I, kind of a well, well, uh, well I, I give an opportunity to Ved Pratap Vedic, he wants to respond see. to you. I think Ved Pratap Vedic, that figurative argument, the argument that you are using to defend Baba Ramdev is not working. No, no. I'm even not. if you have been his supporter, no, no. even if you have been his ideologue, even if you have been his fellow traveller, why would you? Uh, why would you? Why would you try and justify uh, what he has said? Have you spoken no, no. to him after that? No, no, I haven't spoken to him. He I'm listens not. to you, I am told. Yeah, he does. But I don't justify him at all. What I am trying to say... Do you think it reflects his mindset? No, no. You see... His chauvinism? I, I personally feel that you are over-interpreting what he said. He used this word honeymooning exactly. in terms of making fun.
No, 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 please. But I okay, tell you, so make I tell fun you, with the uh, Dalit girls. No, no, That's no, what no. you're trying ye, to say, ye, that ye, he goes to make fun with the Dalit girls? Look, this is a very wrong thing that he thinks that the Dalit is a good thing. Why don't you think that? This is a kind of Rahul of the Dalit is a good thing. No, you think that the Dalit is a good thing. Look, this is a whole mindset, which is a male patriarchal 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 mindset, बावजूद उनको ये लगता है कि अगर कोई व्यक्ति जिस जो शादीशुदा नहीं हो दलित के घर में जाता है तो इसका मतलब ये है कि उसके साथ हनी मून के लिए जाता है इसका मतलब क्या है ये बिल्कुल एक तरह का परवर्टेड बाबा राम देव जैसे लोग बिल्कुल of what he said. You're saying hers is a perverted interpretation, no, no, not, but not, not Baba hers, Ramdev is not, what he said, not, not hers, perverted. Not hers. No, 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 no but, but anybody, anybody who makes doc, this interpretation doc, doc, is simply doc, a perverted doc, interpretation. Dr. Vedic, ulta ye pucha jayega. Ye ulti baat ye hai ki wo Rahul Gandhi ke baare mein disparaging comment kar rahe hai. वो दरी तिस्त्रियों के बारे में कुछ नहीं कह रहे हैं। तो हनीमून किसके साथ राहुल गांधी कर रहे हैं? वो क्या कहना चाहते हैं? शादीशुदा नहीं है इससे वो क्या कहना चाहते हैं? हनीमून क्या करेगा? नहीं नहीं बिल्कुल नहीं वो तो बाबा रामदेव को पता होगा ना जिस तरह की लूज बातें कर रहे हैं हल्की बात Kanchailaya is saying something here. Kanchailaya, what I interpret this whole thing to be is that Baba Ramdev believes that Dalits and Dalit women have no self-respect. Dalits and Dalit women have no morals. Dalits and Dalit women have no character. Dalits and Dalit women have no values. And if this is the feeling that people have, why can't you come out and apologize at least? Ji, Ji, Kanchailaya. Kanchailaya, what are you saying? What is the culture of this country? No, I want to say this thing, which is the... जो साहब ने हिंदी में बात कर रहा है राहुल गांधी जाके कोई गल, गल, दलित घर में बैठे तो वो गल, द, दलित वुमन वो ओपन करके रेडी है क्या उसको क्या बात कर रही है क्या ये 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 कौन सी कल्चर को आप ये देश पर पॉलिटिकल एजेंडा पर रखना चाह रहे हैं स्त्रियों के बारे में बयान एक आदमी मध्य प्रदेश में एक बीजेपी का एमपी ने एक औरत को एक औरत को मलस करके उसका एम पी छोड़ दिया ये ये क्या हो रहा है देश में राहुल गांधी जब दलितों के यहाँ जाते थे तो मैं लिखता था कि राहुल गांधी जैसा कोई और नहीं राहुल गांधी जो कह रहे हैं आपके बारे में नहीं कह रहा हूँ वेद प्रताप वैदिक जी दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन इज़ नॉट अबाउट यू इट इस का सबसे लोएस्ट एप इस समय चल रहा है क्योंकि हर हर कोई पार्टी का नेता महिलाओं के बारे में हल्की और भूंडी बातें कर रहा है इस समय आपकी बात से सिर्फ नॉट ए कमेंट अबाउट यू जस्ट अबे राहुल इश्वर राहुल इश्वर 